Hey everyone, so you have your eyeglass prescription, but it has a whole bunch of different numbers on it and you have no idea what they mean. So I've got my tablet and my pen here and I'm gonna explain what all those numbers mean. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, good optometry morning. The first thing you need to know is OD and OS. You're gonna see these all the time in optometry. OD stands for the right eye. It comes from the Latin ocular dexter, meaning right. OS stands for the left eye. It comes from ocular sinister. Going across, there's three main categories. One is going to be the sphere, one is gonna be the cylinder, and the third is going to be the axis. First, I'm going to talk about the sphere. Now, the sphere is going to have a standard notation of either going to be a plus or a minus, and then some digits following it. First of all, I'm going to refer to the plus or the minus, and these terms basically plus, if you see plus in front of the number here, it's going to stand for hyperopia, or farsightedness. If you see a minus, it's going to stand for myopia, or nearsightedness. Another term for far hyperopia is farsightedness. Another term for myopia is nearsighted. What you're gonna notice is that people that are nearsighted are much, much more common than those people are that are farsighted. It is very, very important that you always include this notation, the plus or the minus in front of the sphere. Otherwise, you have no idea whether the person is farsighted or nearsighted, and you're left to just guess. Now, the unit of measure for the sphere is in diopters, and diopters will come in 0.25 steps. So there'll be 0 0.0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and so on and so on. Once again, it is very important that you write out all the digits. What you do not want to do is shorten it um, and include, leave out digits, because what it can be left to assumption of what the other digits are remaining. And so the sphere value, it describes the plus and minus again will describe whether they're farsightedness, what type of uh, prescription they have, and then the value of the number will describe how farsighted or how nearsighted that individual is. Now, the next two pieces of data, the cylinder and the axis, they both refer to something known as astigmatism. Now, the cylinder, that will refer to how much astigmatism an individual has. The axis will refer to which direction the astigmatism is. And so for the cylinder, the value is written in the same notation as the sphere. You have a minus sign in front, and then you have a diopter value that describes the amount of the astigmatism. Now, unlike the sphere value, the cylinder value in this situation is always going to be minus, and this is referred to as a minus sill prescription. Now, now, optometrists will always write their prescription in a minus sill format. Ophthalmologists, however, will write it in a plus sill format. In another lecture, we will talk about a plus sill, but in this case, we will always assume it's minus. If you ever see this value as being a plus, it may be in a, in a plus sill form, and it's really important to take note of that. But otherwise, this value should always be minus. Once again, the value of the cylinder is in diopters, and it's in the same notation as the sphere in 0 .0, 0 0.25 steps. The axis of the prescription refers to which direction the astigmatism is in, and it refers to axis on a protractor in degrees. And so a range in value from zero up to 180 degrees, ranging in one degree steps throughout. The value of the axis is going to range from 0, 0, 001 up to 180 degrees. We don't have a zero value because that's actually the same thing as 180 degrees. With axis, it's extremely important that you write out every digit in the value to avoid confusion. If you simply write out the digits, for example, one zero, the question remains, is that 100 or is it 10? And the difference that makes is huge.
And so for that reason, it's extremely important that you write out all digits so there is no confusion. If it's 10, you write 010. If it's 1, you write 001. If it's 100, you write 100. Right? And so based on this, this should give you a basic understanding of the standard minus sill prescription written by an optometrist. So that's just a basic intro of some parts of your eyeglass prescription. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, make sure you hit the subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notifications as soon as they come out. And if you want to watch more videos like this, take a look right here.